Hello everybody, John here with Wiki Game Guides, and I wanted to make a vlog about my thoughts on all the changes that Twitch made yesterday regarding VODs and music copyright. Uh, first off, let's just go into the details. Uh, Twitch made two blog posts yesterday. First, uh, kind of the boring one is how VODs are working on Twitch. Um, basically, instead of saved indefinitely, uh, full broadcast, they're only going to be saved for 14 days, and that's mainly because 80% or 84% of the first views only happen within the first 14 days. Completely makes sense to me, not really the interesting part of this story. The really interesting part of this is how audio is going to be working going forward on Twitch uh, with regard to VODs. Twitch has implemented a audio recognition system that will mute VODs when copyrighted music is detected by their new audio recognition software, muting 30 minute segments of a VOD when uh, they detect either positively or a false flag that uh, you use copyright music during your live stream. So let's take a look at exactly how this looks on a VOD. So you can see here this VOD from uh, Fear Darkness, he was playing some music and you can see these big chunks of the red bar here in the middle of the VOD where you cannot unmute the stream. If you go to these other segments where apparently he wasn't playing music or uh, the, the audio recognition software just didn't recognize that he was playing music, um, there's it's not muted at all. But uh, these other segments, the red bars, there is no sound at all. And it's not, um, and it's just completely muted. You can see the little note right here. Audio for portions of this video have been muted as it appears to contain copyrighted content owned or controlled by a third party. So first off, if you're a streamer and you didn't see this coming, you are a moron. Pull your head out of your ass. Like. Twitch has never allowed you to use music during your live streams. They just haven't enforced their rules. If you read through the terms and service and all that, and their rules and all that, uh, you cannot, like you were never given permission to use copyright music during your stream. They just never cared or never had the tools to enforce it. Uh, and it's also important to point out for the moment that audio recognition only applies to VODs. But if you're ignorant enough to not have seen this coming for VODs, then I believe you will be equally surprised when this music policy changes further in the future and there are actual consequences for channels that play copyrighted music. Right now, when Fear Darkness has parts of his stream muted for using copyright, all that means is that this 25,000 view uh, VOD he's still making money off of the commercials in front of it, presumably, because the copyrighted music is muted, but there are no long-term consequences for his ability to stream on Twitch. I believe that the next big step is going to be Twitch actually handing out strikes and removing the ability for channels that are repeat offenders of the copyrighted music policy, removing their ability to stream. I, just like it is on YouTube, YouTube has a three strike system where if you test, where if you get multiple copyright strikes, then you are banned uh, from uploading to YouTube. And I believe that's exactly what's going to happen eventually down the road on Twitch. So be prepared for that. If you're completely shocked by these very predictable uh, advancements in how Twitch is working right now. So why is this happening? Uh, I believe that this is happening right now because Twitch TV and the Google deal has not officially been announced yet. So everybody knows, everybody thinks they know that Google is going to buy Twitch for a billion dollars. But remember, this hasn't been officially announced yet. We think this is going to happen, but we don't know that it's going to happen. There have been tons and tons of rumors, but... Google hasn't announced anything official yet, and Twitch hasn't announced anything official yet. So I believe that this is happening now so that uh, to potentially stifle future lawsuits against Twitch and Google and YouTube. Now remember, Google bought YouTube in 2006, right? In March 2007, Viacom sued Google for a billion dollars, and it took nearly seven years or six years for this lawsuit to go away. It was filed on March 13th, 2007. 
Viacom International versus YouTube. And then on April 13th or April 18th, 2013, the appeals were finally shut down. So Google doesn't want another six year lawsuit on their hand for owning another property that is going to take them into court. So I believe that Google is insisting to Twitch that this uh, music copyright detecting system is implemented before they announce anything official. And if any music companies are planning on suing Twitch, well, why would you sue Twitch, a small struggling startup that isn't making an enormous amount of money yet, and no one really knows how much money Twitch is making right now because it's a private company. There are no publicly traded companies that uh, that own it, that have a stake in it yet. As soon as a publicly traded company like Google owns Twitch, then people will see how much money Twitch is making and make them a very uh, high profile target to be sued because they're worth so much more. When you're only suing Twitch, there's only so much money you can make for a company that is potentially not making any money. But when Google owned, owns Twitch, that's a multi-billion dollar company, maybe trillion, I don't, I don't even know. A company that's making an enormous amount of money and they're a much bigger target to sue and a much more appealing target to sue when Google owns Twitch. So uh, I wanted to also respond to some of the, uh, to the, <laughs> some of the tweets I saw in this Kotaku article. Um, so this post on Kotaku is basically uh, you know, going over the exact same stuff that I'm going over now. And they pulled a couple really interesting tweets from, I think, very dumb people. Um, Chris Hanel wrote, Good news, everyone. We don't have to dread the YouTube, pur YouTube purchasing Twitch. All the worst parts are already here. Well, no, you are completely wrong. The worst parts are not already here. Like I said before, there is basically zero enforcement of breaking the rules right now. They're simply muting VODs. There are zero consequences to the live streams where you can still play live music or play music during a live stream without any consequences. Like I said before, what I believe is going to happen eventually is you will get a strike and your channel will actually be affected. Um, and so, and then to respond to this tweet, to be clear, rationale for Twitch VOD is hearing a song during a stream is a lost sale. Is that seriously what media corporations believe? Uh, yes, actually it is. You can't play music in a public venue without compensating the owner for it. In the same way that when you, you can't publicly display a movie in a public venue, in a movie theater, without paying a special price. Like the price that you pay to rent a movie is very different than the price that you would pay to publicly display a movie, uh, like in your own private theater in front of people where you're selling tickets. And that's, ex you know, this guy is making money off of playing music behind his live stream. This guy gets, I mean, he has 25,000 views on his VOD, which is insane. That's... I think it's a two dollar and fifty cent fixed CPM for VO for all views for all commercials run on Twitch. So this guy's making what would that be fifty dollars, so more than fifty dollars on just this VOD, and he's making even more money off the actual live stream. So I mean, they believe that they at least get a or the the music owners believe that they should at least get a cut of the money that he's making off this because it's a part of his video. They don't believe that they should get all of it, but he, according to the people who created the music, they think that they deserve some of that, a couple cents. So, that I and I kind of agree with the music creators in this point. Um, so, anyway, I th that kind of sums up my thoughts. Uh, I hope you guys found this video interesting. If you, like, I'm going to keep using music because there are no repercussions for using music right now. As soon as there are consequences for using music, then I will have to change that. But nothing's really changed right now. I mean, the VODs don't get a ton of views. And if you upload a VOD to Twitch, it, or um, if you upload a VOD to YouTube, and like <laughs> I have so many freaking copyright notices on YouTube. I, I have thousands. I think there's a hundred copyright notices per page 
and I have at least four pages of copyright notices on YouTube. Um, so to say the least, it's not really <laughs> very strongly enforced on YouTube. Um, so like, here's what, so if you're, if you're used to watching VODs, which not many people do, other than for this guy's crazy stream, um, if you're used to watching VODs on Twitch, here's what's gonna happen. They're gonna upload their VOD to YouTube instead of Twitch, and they're just not gonna be able to make money off of it. So when I get a, um, a trailer or a video or something that I use music in, and it matches third-party content, all I can do I mean, the video is still live, I just can't monetize it. You can remove the claimed song. So if you go to match third party content, you can actually remove the song from the video. And unlike Twitch, this actually works really well. It, remo it <laughs> the YouTube's third party music removing thing actually does a really good job. It removes this, the music and doesn't alter the actual, uh, the audio that's going on on top of the music that much. So anyway, um, I'm starting to ramble now. So anyway, thanks for watching and uh, I will see you on more happy hour streams. Game on.